Welcome back to Latin Nation. Now joining us in the studio is one of Disney's fastest rising stars. You can catch him on Disney's Pair of Kings. But before we introduce him, let's check out this clip of the show. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it! You guys are having a TV party without me. We tried to call you, but it said your country's phone got disconnected. <laughs> it's not easy running a fifth world nation. I'm out of money. I'm out of food. Oh, this better be a happy show. Welcome, Ryan. So great to have you on the show. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Now, just a few minutes ago, we were talking about your amazing shoes, which <laughs> I noticed automatically. We have, we have some guests with great yeah. shoes on yeah, the show. Yeah, these are these are pretty good shoes. They're like moon shoes, which are pretty appropriate since you're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I call okay. them I call them my moon boots. Did you call ahead? Yeah. <laughs> you must have known. Now, how Rabbit old are you? Around. I'm 16. Okay, you're making me feel bad, and probably Stevie's making you feel bad too, because you seem like you've got your stuff together. I mean, you're on a Disney hit show, Pair of Kings. I, I mean, how do you handle it? At 16, I was not like you are. I was just, I was, I was a complete mess. You're on, you're on, I, on a hit yeah. show like this. Is, I'm like starstruck right now. Like, oh, I'm in the studio. Like, I've always Aww. dreamed of this. Man, you're, okay, that's heart. how you got the gig, huh? You went in there and you just sat <laughs> in their heart. Huh? You walked in yeah, there and the director right. says, you got it, kid. Yeah. How did you get on a show like Pair of Kings? I mean, take us, through, take us through your journey, your young journey. Well, I mean, I started acting when I was like eight years old, I consider, because that's like when I started really focusing on, on acting. But um, honestly, it's not the easiest thing, and a lot of kids think it you know, just happens overnight, but it doesn't. I mean, I've, I audition thousands of times for commercials and TV shows, and... And you know, honestly, what they, it really takes that one job, you know? Did you ever find it challenging to balance just adolescence, which is like school. work in itself and school, school, and then being on a hit show and, and learning the business and having to, you know, be professional and have your stuff together? Uh, I mean, that, that's a great question. And, and uh, I, I still feel like I'm still learning. And, uh, but luckily I had, you know, good people behind me and who were on the show. Like, but then too, Disney also helps you and they guide you through, look at this is gonna be like, you know, it's gonna be a life changer. And you know, you're gonna be walking on the street and people are gonna be recognizing you. It's like, you gotta know how to handle yourself. And you're basically in the public eye everywhere you go. Is if they ask me that question, I just have to, you know, I'd have to get to know you first, you know, well, it's, for it's, a while. It's kind of like Steve asking, is that really a UFO? Right, you have to have like the same discretion. Right, exactly. Is that a UFO? <laughs> I want to. I, I can't wait to talk about you. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's let's have. I want to have that. Well, you want to do it right now? Ask the question that you asked uh, before before we started shooting the segment. What was it like? Um, are UFOs real? Are UFOs real? But you should have seen the way yeah, he yeah, asked yeah, it. Yeah. Like the way he I asked like it. This, he, I, he like looked at I, like like I was like, Are UFOs real? Are UFOs real? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he looked at me like, uh, you know, you really want to know the truth, right? You want to know. Yeah, because and I, it's sort of scary to you the answer, right? Sort of. It is. Yeah. Um, and in my experience, I got to say they are. Okay, so I, I told your brother too. Well, I've had a direct experience, um, but also, so, yeah. He was abducted. No, I no, wasn't. No, no. I never said that. Are they um, aliens? Are they, see, there's the question. You know, everybody leaps from objects to aliens, and when you say aliens, you have to, cons you know, people immediately think, well, they're from another planet. But um, a lot of the research indicates they may not necessarily be from a planet as much as they're interdimensional. I know that's a lot to take in, but they move through our space time like they have no rules. When we get into quantum physics, we, we realize that part particles can exist simultaneously in two different places. What books are okay. you reading, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, 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 but so anyway, to answer your question, are they aliens? I don't know what they are, but there is definitely something out there that's not us. And you've had way. a direct? Not with, not with beings, but with objects. I've had sightings. I've had, I've had actually three sightings. Um, wow, you know what? On well, that I'm note, we're going to have to go to a commercial and uh, we're going to be right back with Ooh. Steve Murillo and Ryan Ochoa <laughs> on Latin Nation. <laughs> 